Hey there, how are all of my Gemini Soul family members out there doing? I hope you're all doing great. My name is Morty. Welcome to today's tarot reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. And this will be a reading for the second half of March, right? So March 15th through the end of the month. <clears throat> Called a mid-month or mid-March read. Um, Gemini, I mean, beautiful sign, beautiful zodiac sign. Um, very intelligent sign, right? You're all very quick-witted, right? You're clever with your senses of with your sense of humor. Um, very enthusiastic. You could be very intellectual, right? I mean, I'm an Aquarius, right? So I, I can be in my head a lot. I love to get uh, caught up in those intellectual conversations, right? There's nothing better than sharing those moments like that with a Gemini, because I think they too get that some of that so they experience that same intellectual stimulation um anyways you can also be indecisive uh you can lack direction you can become anxious at times and sometimes come across as being a little superficial anyways just some of the the fun characteristics and traits that follow each of the zodiac signs uh, anyways gemini is a beautiful zodiac sign so I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to be doing your read for you today. So you may have your sun sign in Gemini, or perhaps your moon arising is in Gemini. Um, or you're just intuitively guided to be here. Sorry, I was having a few thoughts at the same time. Um, um, you know, I was just thinking to myself that uh, it's kind of nice to just be raw on these videos, you know. I mean, if I get an itch or a scratch or whatever, I just do it, right? I mean, I have that mindset where I understand professionalism, <clears throat> right? And presentation and making a first impression. All, I get that, right? You're seeing my, you're speaking my language with all of that. But there is something nice about just the rawness of it. So, anyways, hopefully you guys are seeing me raw. And I, and, and I think you're maybe all getting to know me a little bit more and more, right? With each and every read, I, um, I'm feeling more and more comfortable kind of sharing part of myself of who I truly am in front of the camera, which is a good feeling. Um, it's been fun to be able to connect with soul family members like yourselves. I read all your comments. I love them. Um, they're great. I always enjoy the time that I prepare before the reads, right? That, that those, those meditation type um, experiences where you really get the chance to feel and connect, feel your inner, your in, feel of your energy. Sorry, I need to adjust the camera here. There we go. All right. So, Gemini, I was going to let you know that the background music that I have playing throughout your read is 528 hertz, opening your heart chakra. Right, it's the love frequency. So. Anyways, I thought it would. Uh, I thought it it was fitting and appropriate for your read. So let's go for it. Okay, Gemini. First thing I want to do is pull an affirmation card for you, just to see which affirmation would be best suited taking you into today's tarot read. Beautiful, Gemini. You drew the affirmation of confidence, the number 32, which reduces to the number 5. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth, earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. It's a beautiful affirmation for you, Gemini. So Gemini stepping into the middle of March, right? Calling upon the universe for confidence. Makes me wonder, Gemini, what do you have going on? What is it that you have going on in your life, right? That's causing you to need your confidence, right? Feel that you need that energy, right? <clears throat> um, so I'm doing your read today with my Crystal Vision Tarot set. It's the set that I use on most of the uploads on here on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. 
but I, I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I think in the month of April I'll, I'll likely be switching, changing decks and, and switching over to the uh, to the Universal Tarot. Um, uh, it's a great tarot deck, right? It's right here. <clears throat> I kind of have it right by my side as a backup and I've been studying this deck quite a bit more. So as a tarot reader I've been working on trying to better my skills and improve my reading abilities and such. So, anyways. All right, opening energy, taking Gemini. <clears throat> Actually, I don't, I don't know that, I can't remember if I split the deck, right? So I'm gonna have to shuffle it one, one more time here. All right, just read it for Gemini, March 15th through the end of the month, 2019. Do you remember I did cut the deck before okay opening energy taking Gemini into your read today is the Queen of Swords uh, Gemini this could be your card right so this is an air sign Aquarius Gemini Libra Queen so female energy doesn't have to be though Queen of Swords this is a great energy right I kind of I kind of classify this energy as kind of the cleaning house energy <clears throat> Queen of Swords is a great energy to come into your into your atmosphere, right? If you if it's time to do some cleaning, if it's time to maybe look at your life and decide what things are serving me, which things are no longer serving me, right? And allowing yourself the opportunity. Take this Queen of Swords energy. She carries a sword, doesn't like to use it, but she will if necessary. And when necessary, she'll cut those things out of a person's life that are no longer serving them anymore. She represents rebirth, right? The butterflies flying here. And there is a healing energy that comes with her, right? I recognize that in the colors back here. All right, Gemini, tell me more. Okay, this jumped right out. Gemini, we have the Will of Fortune. So this represents change, right? Change that's coming into your, your atmosphere. Um, anytime this, this card comes up as an energy, right? I, you know, I need to kind of adjust the camera here. For whatever reason, my stand is like slipping down a little bit. It's one side just slowly tilts. But anytime this card comes up in a reading, right? I always try to point out this is a very important time, Gemini, to make sure that you're managing your energy because change is coming your way, right? And you want to manifest, you want to bring us the best change possible. What is it that creates that, right? Our own energy. What, are, what is our energy resonating at, right? What kind of vibration? Because whatever we're, we're resonating at, that's the kind of change that we're going to resonate and attract into our life, right? So this is a, a time for you, Gemini, to this is a time to be living life with gratitude, right? To uh, be looking at all the blessings that you get to experience in life, right? All the gifts, the gift of life. Um, this is not the time to be focused on heartbreaks and losses and pains and, um, and disappointments, right? This is a time to, to look at life with optimism, with understanding, right? Acceptance, no judgments, forgiveness, no, no heavy opinions, right? Just, Allow yourself to let those heavy energies go. Because you have change coming in and you want to attract higher vibrational change. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords taking us into the read and now we have the King of Swords. Uh, King of Swords would be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, this is a good energy, right? The King of Swords, he knows his truth. He stands by his truth. Uh, this kind of energy you can count on. It doesn't get uh, this kind of energy doesn't get super emotional about things, right? It doesn't get caught up in a lot of the drama. Um, he stays very grounded, right? He sticks to the facts. Uh, King of Swords, you don't want to. I mean, sharp in business, uh, knows his stuff. I never want to cross the King of Swords. Um, just because he knows his he knows his place in this world, right? 
He understands his energy. All right, this is driving me crazy for the love. Okay, I'm just gonna like try to readjust this a titch. It's a little bit better maybe. All right. Okay, Gemini. We're off and rolling. We have the card of temperance. This is the card of Sagittarius, right? So some of you could be in a relationship with the Sagittarius. Or you could have this Sagittarius um, in your chart somewhere. She's a balanced energy with one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. Right? She's surrounded by butterflies representing rebirth. Anytime this card comes up in a reading, right, it tells me, right, for you, Gemini, that whatever's happening in your world, right, those important energies that are around you, the universe is kind of instructing and guiding all of this uh, everything happening for you Gemini in universal timing she pours a chalice of water into a chalice of fire it creates this beautiful rainbow right because it's so perfectly timed right it's divinely timed okay two of swords uh, two of swords is uh, reaching an impasse in life right where it's time to make a decision. <clears throat> or you have a decision in front of you, Gemini. Uh, maybe a decision you've had for a little while now, right? And for whatever reason you've chosen to keep the blindfold on and to not make the to not make the, the decision. I don't know. I mean you'll have your motivation, right? Um, but this is saying that, that you may be stepping into a time in your life where you're ready to make this decision, right? Coming out of decision mode. Because remaining in an indecisive mode kind of keeps you, can sometimes keep you in a stalemate position, right? We have the hanged man, right? Which is choosing to not make a decision due to, it's a form of sacrifice. Maybe that card will come out. But uh, I don't know. I feel like, Gemini, you know what the right decision, what the right choice for you is, right? Represented by this white dove down here. And also... You know, these two swords across their chest are pointing to the sky, and this one is just is kind of connected to the light. It tells me that there's one choice that's uh, superior over the other choice. All right, Gemini, tell me more. Okay. Beautiful. Coming in next to the Two of Swords, we have the Two of Cups. Two of Cups represents the energy of two people coming together. Right? So this is two people, in some cases, right, for you, Gemini, this will be two people coming together for the first time. Right? With other Gemini, this will be, you're already together. Right? This is you coming together with a higher level of love, maybe a deeper level of understanding, one to the other, one with the other. Um, or you could be stepping up a notch with your relationship, right? Going from not so serious to getting a little more serious here. Um, yeah, there's a. I'm, I'm feeling a passion <laughs> with this card right now. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a passionate uh, get together between two people, right? So for a lot of you Gemini out there, I think this this represents romantic love. For others, this could be uh, friendship. Uh, but it's a meaningful friendship. Okay, beautiful. We have the star card. Star card is coming in under the will of fortune. Uh, star card is also the card of Aquarius, right? So maybe some of you, Gemini, could be in a relationship with an Aquarius, right? Or you could be getting ready to enter into a relationship with an Aquarius. But the energy that this card represents is it's a beautiful energy. This is, this is creating and manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, Gemini. 
uh, she's serious about what she's doing. She's balanced with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. The water represents our subconscious, our emotions, feelings. Dry land represents our presence here on earth. She's balanced in both. She pours from her cups, one in the water, one on dry land. Oh, she means business. She also makes sure that she's standing underneath eight stars, right? Eight representing good luck, good fortune. She's wanting to create. She's wanting to manifest. Yeah, and I just, I don't know. It's kind of strange what I'm feeling right now is, is it's a powerful feeling. It's like this energy, whatever it represents to you in your life, Gemini, it's, it's, it's like calling upon all the resources of the universe, right? To bring this manifestation together. It's powerful, there's power there. Too many cards. Well, somebody asked about that in the comments. Um, asked about <clears throat> how that works, right? When, like when you know when cards fall, when they need to be put back, and, and when they're legitimate falls. And as a tarot reader, you're connected. You trust your feeling, your instinct. You know, um, I just I, I don't really ever question mine uh, because it's a it's a strong confirmation feeling that I have of when it's a legitimate fall, when it's not. So coming in under the King of Swords, we have the King of Wands. Right, so we have two kings here. Uh, King of Wands being a fire sign. So Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, male energy since it's a king. It doesn't have to be, right? So some Geminis, you may be getting into a relationship with a, with a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Wands is a beautiful king. He's a great king, uh, great energy. This is the kind of energy that's it's a little more youthful. It's a little more faster moving, right? His companion is the lion, representing power and strength. His other companion is the dragon, which represents speed and fire, right? So he's a fast moving energy. Um, it's a great energy for like starting things up, right? Getting a business going, um, taking off with a new idea. This, this energy would serve you so well. King of Wands has this kind of magnetic charm to him where he can sweep both men and women off their feet. Um, it's a good energy. All right, Gemini, tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, beautiful. Gemini, we now have the Two of Wands. Uh, two of Wands represents the energy of, of a courageous risk taker, right? This is somebody getting ready to set out on a pretty exciting journey, right? Going a new direction, it's a new path. Uh, figure in the card stands next to his dragon. He's looking at the path ahead of him, right? Trying to map out his course. I don't know, he could be traveling, right? The dragon has the world. He's holding the world in his tail. So, I don't know, what I'm feeling is, uh, you know, I think many of you, Gemini, you're gonna be doing a lot of traveling, right? A lot of seeing the world. And that's coming under temperance, divine timing. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, we have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles represents the energy of balancing, uh, that you're balancing in life, right? <clears throat> it turns out that you're balancing beautifully, just like the nymph in this card. So beautifully that she's kind of showing off uh, how well she's balancing with a kind of a beautiful artistic pose. Um, but balancing nonetheless. 
Two of Pentacles is coming in under the Two of Swords. Coming in under the Two of Cups, right? Now we have, so we have three twos right now. Well, I don't know. We have four twos, right? So we have all the twos um, from the tarot set here in Gemini spread, right? So I don't know. I mean, that could, um, I don't know for sure, but what the, my hunch is that could be uh, telling Gemini, you know, this could be a twin flame kind of connection. <clears throat> Gemini, we now have the nine of sword and the nine of wands, and this is coming in under the two of cups. Nine of wands is it's an independent energy um, figure on the card sits on this heel, right? She's she appears to be resting. She's been in battle, but she's not resting. She's posted up these wands to illuminate the night sky, and she's looking or on the hill down in front of her where she she can see everything that's approaching her. Right? It's just raising your level of awareness. Uh, who's watching her back? Her companion, the lion, representing power and strength. Watching to see anything that's approaching from that side. Gemini, the energy taking us out of your tarot read today is the Justice card, right? This is the card of Libra, right? So some of you could be in a relationship with Libra, or you could have Libra somewhere in your planetary chart. But this is Justice coming to you. The figure in the card, she stands above the river of truth. In one hand, she holds her sword. In the other hand, she holds the scales of justice, right? So this is Justice coming into your atmosphere, Libra. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, Gemini, I need just a couple minutes here to take a look at the read. I have your spread done now. I just need to look at the cards and see where their placements are, their relationships one with the other, and feel what they're telling me, and then I can share your read with you. So hang on just a few moments. affirmation taking you into today's tarot read is confidence right so looking for confidence <clears throat> and I'm seeing confidence in your read I'm gonna point it out in just a moment here right but Gemini going into your read you have this Queen of Swords energy what's the Queen of Swords doing right she's she's making room she's organizing cleaning house for you Gemini uh, creating room for new change for new energy to come into your life said change right yeah Gemini you have change coming into your atmosphere right in some cases this change includes you may be having an Aquarius come into your life right it's part of this change um, for others for other Gemini's right? you're manifesting this this change what's coming with it right it's all your hopes and all your wishes um, it's beautiful right? so Gemini, keep in mind, these are the energies that are resonating out there ahead of you right now, right? But choice has not been made yet. This is the energy based upon today. So, you need to make sure that you're managing your, your energy effectively, living life with gratitude, right? To, to bring in as beautiful of a change as possible. <clears throat> Hopefully a change that includes all your wishes, all your hopes and dreams. So for many of you Gemini out there, right, I feel like your truth has arrived to you, right? You know your truth now. You understand it. 
um, you can stand by your truth. And now that you have your truth, now that you have this new understanding, you've got this fire in you, right? That you're just ready to go out and just manifest with it, create with it, you're ready to build. Um, it's an exciting energy. It makes me excited for you, Gemini. Everything happening for you, Gemini, all in divine timing. <clears throat> By divine timing, I mean the universe's timing. We could try to force this to happen, right? But it's not about forcing it. It's just about allowing it, right? What's Gemini getting ready to do? Set out on a kind of beautiful adventure, a courageous, risk-taking kind of adventure. Um, see, I can just feel it. It's exciting for you. It involves travel and meeting people and uh, seeing different places in the world. Bond. So I don't know, I sense that maybe some Gemini's out there, right? You may be trying to balance yourself, trying to balance mind, body, and spirit, perhaps. Balance your emotions, balance your energy. Right? Preparing yourself to make this choice, make this decision for yourself. <clears throat> but I think you're going to make it. I feel like you are. And I feel like you know what the right choice is too, right? It's, it's being pointed out to you here. The sword that's lighting up the sky above it. To me, it seems like it's kind of obviously pointing that out, but who am I? Gemini, where is it taking you? <clears throat> well, for many of you, it's taking you to this beautiful relationship, right? It could be a romantic relationship. Two people coming together. Two people coming to the conclusion that two are stronger than one, right? Overcoming this independent energy, right? In order for these two people to come together. Uh, Raising your level of awareness, right? Paying close attention to, paying very close attention to your energy, Gemini. Making sure that you're managing it effectively. All for what? All to bring justice to you, right? Justice being served. It's a beautiful thing for you, Gemini. Okay. Gemini, you had a fantastic read here. I mean, I really enjoyed sharing it with you. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for all the beautiful donations and the contributions that many of you have made towards my channel. And for all of you who have ordered personal reads, I can't thank you enough. I mean, honestly, you guys and the donations, that's what keeps this channel alive. Uh, this is what I do. So you're giving me this opportunity and, and I'm eternally grateful to you for that. Um, Thank you for all the comments, likes, subscribes, and shares. I read them all. I respond back to most of them. It's great to connect with all of your energies. I hope, Gemini, that you, you like this read, right? It's, it's not for every Gemini, but it is for some of you. So, and I hope these energies resonated with you and you were able to find your truth here and connect with it. Okay, Gemini, wishing you the best throughout the rest of March. Thanks.